And now onto our dinosaur of the day, Patagosaurus, which was a request from Paleo Mike 716 So thanks. It was a eusauropod dinosaur. I guess I did get another sauropod in. <laughs> that lived in the early Middle Jurassic in what is now Patagonia, Argentina. And it looked like other sauropods. It had the long neck, the small head, the long tail. It walked on four legs. It's estimated to be about 54 feet or 16 and a half meters long and weigh about 7.8 tons. And there are other estimates that it was about 46 feet or 14 meters long. A sort of average middle of the road, I would say. <laughs> middle of the road, for a yeah. Pod. Yeah. The fossils were found in the 1970s, and the holotype includes a nearly complete skeleton, but no skull. But multiple specimens have been found, so we do know about most of the skeleton, including the skull. Although the skull isn't that well known. It's mostly the jaws that are known. A lot of specimens have been found, originally 12, but now it might only be 11 because there was a redescription of Patagosaurus and they found that one of those specimens might be a different taxa or a different kind of dinosaur. At least one juvenile has been found. It was herbivorous and it had a mix of basal and derived sauropod traits, so old and new traits. Now one derived trait is the air-filled cavities in bones, that's known as pneumatization, which made the bones lighter. It also had gracile or slender forelimbs compared to later sauropods like Camarasaurus. It had tall neural spines, five sacral vertebrae, that's in between the hips. It had saddle-shaped neural spines on the front tail vertebrae, also known as the anterior caudal vertebrae. It had a relatively short high lower jaw, the dentary, a short high broad snout, and teeth similar to Camarasaurus in that they were more spoon-shaped. Yeah, description in general sounds a lot like Camarasaurus, mm -hmm. I would say. It was interesting that you said later sauropods like Camarasaurus, because I'm not used to Camarasaurus because that was in the Jurassic. Yeah. But this is the earlier Jurassic. Yep. Just a reminder of how long dinosaurs were around. Mm-hmm. Paticosaurus had a lot of replacement teeth. It probably replaced its teeth every 58 days. Nice. I'm jealous. <laughs> I know. And juveniles looked a little different from adults. For example, an adult femora, the leg bone, had different proportions from juveniles. It's also possible that juveniles had fewer teeth than adults. The long neck of Patagosaurus may have helped it avoid some overheating. It was originally described by Jose Bonaparte in 1979, and the type species is Patagosaurus fariasi. The genus name means Patagonia lizard. It refers to it being a reptile found in Patagonia. <laughs> and the species name is in honor of Ricardo Farias, who owned the farmland where the fossils were found. Patagosaurus lived in a warm, humid climate with lots of conifers and ferns. Other dinosaurs that lived around the same time and place include Pietnitskisaurus, which is a megalosauroid, Condor Raptor, another megalosauroid, and Volchimeria, a eusauropod. And... Other animals, in addition to dinosaurs that lived around the same time and place, included amphibians, turtles, and mammals. For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash or click the link on the left.